Uh, it gets no bigger than this. Allion Stadium, home of the Roosters, taking on their arch rivals, the Rabbitohs. There's been such a build-up to this game. The Roosters have been running a social media campaign called Love to Hate. We'll wait and see how it plays out on the field tonight. But so much on the line for both of these clubs, the Rabbitohs and the Roosters, as they walk down the tunnel onto this famous turf of what used to be the Sydney Football Stadium. And the Sydney Sports Ground before that going back away. The Rabbitohs have won seven of their past nine. They're a team on a roll and perhaps destined for the top four as soon as tonight with a victory here against their arch rivals. While the Roosters need a win to keep themselves in the race for a place in the top eight. A lot on the line here tonight, Laurie. Oh, most definitely. South Sydney, they hit the ground first. Gregging was celebrating his 150th NRL match. What a player he is. He made his debut for Melbourne back in 2005. He's only 25 years of age. Got it all before him as the Roosters hit Allianz Stadium. Very special night for Braith in, at Braith and Astor. 250 NRL games. He's primed. He's pumped. I think we're in for a beauty tonight, Was. He missed the draw last week against the Sharks on Monday night at Toyota Stadium. But he's back tonight. This milestone game. But of the Roosters faithful, what is the last couple of months of his tenure here with the Sydney Roosters before moving on to the Tigers in 2013? They supplied a cracker of a game in round one. The Roosters snatched an amazing victory, 24 to 20. What do we have in store tonight? Here in round 19, the final game of rivalry round. What a rivalry this has been for more than a century. Martin Kennedy will play it. There's a pall of smoke hangs over the ground from the pre-game fireworks. Mossy Masoy takes it up towards the 30. Almost fitting this smoke wafting over the ground. It feels like a battle scene at the moment. The battle we may have on our hands here tonight. The Roosters work it back towards the 40-metre line through Mulesal. They go to Manasta, who takes them on to begin with and wears a shot. Heavy contact over the top there from Sam Burgess. Friend gives it off to Kennedy. And he takes it across the halfway line. A good opening set for the home side here tonight. They come to the right-hand side and they'll put it through the hands for Pierce to kick towards the corner. Over the head of Inglis. And he'll watch it go dead. He'll bring it back out to their 20. Yeah, he had a bit too much on that. Mitchell Pierce. I'm just wondering whether that may be a tactic tonight to keep Greg Inglis out of the game, in particular on those kick returns. With a kicker dead in goal or find a sideline. They give him a turn to bring the ball back. Interesting tactic, perhaps, first up. Here's Luke Burgess working it up towards the 40 metre line. Play it here for Isaac Luke. It's hard to see the players through the smoke. At the moment, not much breeze in Sydney tonight. They might be with us for a couple of minutes here. Here's Crocker, a little tip on between the forwards. They take it back across the halfway line. A couple of plays left in this first set for the Rabbitohs. And Adam Reynolds, whose kicking game has been the standout feature of his play in this rookie season. A good one to begin with here tonight. Leilua picks it up, and they pick him up and take him to the turf rather heavily. Good kick by Reynolds, dragged out of the tackle there by David Taylor before he gives away a penalty. Tau Tau Moga. The player here just short of the Roosters 20. In a challenge. The other 30 plus player, age wise in this Roosters lineup, along with Braith and Astor tonight. His friend goes to the short side and gives it to Warburson. Playing in the centre still and on that left edge. After being a running back rower on the right for most of his career with the Roosters in first grade, Aiden Guerra. A play it here, back in Rabbitohs territory. Last play. Stop finally clearing, and Anasta puts it high in the air. Maybe trying to get a little smoke help from the bomb on the eyes of their Hingless and also Merritt. I didn't get to it. It didn't matter in the end because another kick from the Roosters goes dead. That was a massive spiral kick there from Braith and Asta. I don't think Greg Inglis and Nathan Merritt had any chance at all. Can't have been easy looking up through the smoke trying to get a bead on that ball as it came back to earth. Braith and Asta has such a big boot. From 
come down from a long way, don't they? Here's Sam Burgess running towards Pierce and offloading. Giving it away there. On his outside, Chris McQueen will play it at the halfway line. Luke for an option and finding John Sutton. What's happening for them there? They lost the play sheet on that little one. And not much happens for them, so Luke will play it here. 40 away from the Roosters line. Comes away from Merritt. Back to the middle they go to Crocker. Who works it forward. Stopped there by Masoy. But also Kennedy. And perhaps a chance here for... Reynolds will put a bit of pressure on the back three of the Roosters. They go towards the wing of Leilua, who stands underneath and makes a good catch. Takes a big tackle for his trouble, though, from Farrell and also Everingham. Yeah, just what we expected coming here tonight. Set for set, intensity is, is lifted in every tackle. 205 meters between these two sides is Orbison. Works enough to wear a shot there from Burgess, who supplied a couple of big ones already. Iwasala, looking it to the right-hand side, and it's the halfback Mitchell Pearce will play it almost back at the Roosters' 30. Here's Boyd Cordner, now 20-year-old, the three-man tackle. Didn't want to his back almost there, Sutton and Luke combining. It's a slow play, the ball has a result for Pearce to kick from inside the 40. And finally, at the third attempt, they keep a kick in play from their own side of halfway, and every ham it is. Who brings it back to Guerra and also Warbison. Farrell has been good on the right edge in this run of victories for the Rabbitohs. He'll play a 10 on his own side of halfway. Inglis gives it to Luke Burgess. The three Burgess brothers. Perhaps they'll get on the field at some stage at the same time tonight. Luke, Sam and George. He was working off the bench. Sutton comes out the back to Inglis. Gets away from Pierce. He's got help. Nathan Merritt will open the scoring and it's the superstar, Inglis, who carves them open in the opening minutes of this one. Oh, he's a superstar, Greg Inglis. Ever since round three when Michael Maguire shifted him back to the fullback position, this South Sydney team has been a different outfit. Sutton going to the line, out the back to Inglis. He shows the ball and keeps Kenny Dowell away. And then it's a one-on-one -on -one with Mitchell Pearce. He gets around Mitchell Pearce, tries to take on Minicello, and then passes it over the top to Nathan Merritt. Just see that little dummy which keeps Kenny Dowell out and allows him to go one-on-one. -on -one. It's one of South Sydney's favourite plays, the sweep out the back to Greg Inglis. And already leaving his mark on this match. Great in full flight, isn't he, G.I.? Well, he gets a chance to use that right hand, the fend. And it's almost impossible to stop him. And when Pierce allowed him to the outside, that opened it up for this man, Nathan Merritt, who has now scored 22 tries in his last 20 games. And as you can see, creeping up the ranks of the all-time scorers for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And Adam Reynolds from right in front. And make it the perfect beginning. For South Sydney here tonight, up against their arch rivals, their mortal enemies, as some have described it, in the lead up to this game, six points to nil. You see how the Roosters respond to that on the right edge, especially, but you just can't afford to give Greg Inglis that sort of room, and there wasn't a, a lot happening. Pierce just underestimated the speed of Inglis to. Get on his outside, and once he was half in the gap, it was all over. And Asta with the restart. Kennedy went within an ace of creeping in front of the line on the kick. Burgess it is. He brings it back towards the 24, the Rabbitohs. The hot favourites to win here tonight. The victory, if they can rack up a score, could move them all the way to third on the ladder. The Coltrane, David Taylor. Playing it for Luke to get out from Dummy Hart. Had them scrambling at marker, and as a result, he picks up 15 plus metres. And they'll need to win the tackles tonight to stop Luke getting out and doing exactly what he did just then. Here's McQueen once more working it towards the halfway line. They're almost there on four plays. Off the back of the merit try. Rocker. In the final season of his current deal with the Rabbitohs. Now it's English. 
who puts it up. Not a great contact. A spiral bomb all the same. It made it tough for Minicello because it was hooking away from him. As it came back to the turf, that was a super catch. Well, that's what you expect from someone like Anthony Minicello. Played for Australia. He's played at the highest level. And he continues to produce. He's a strong carry there from Leilua. They go down the short side for a nasty to show it and work in behind them and keep it alive here for Friends. And they're 30 metres out. The best field position. The ball in their hands in this game. Pierce taking it to the line to the halfback. We'll have to play it on the last. Not a great scenario. And as a result, Anasta goes to first receiver on this right-hand side. Chips it out towards Moga and also Sutton, who is there for the Rabbitohs. Brewster's last It'll tackle change over knock on. Boys. Change over, boys. Not yet. Here's the catch by Minicello first off. That Attacking was brave football. coming forward, wasn't it? Oh, it's a difficult thing to do. Well done, Anthony Minicello putting his body on the line. English from dummy half. Looking it across to Burgess. And the player just outside their 20. Luke waits at dummy half. No pass. Luke Burgess to go to Taylor immediately. Farrell is outside there and some pressure on Anastra and also Warburton to come up with the stop. This is the halfway line as Farrell takes it forward. And they score points in the opening 20 minutes of games. The Robert O's like the team in the competition. They've kept that on tonight. They've been the best attacking team since round eight in the NRL. We go back to the beginning of this purple patch of form after a even start of the season in which they lost as many as they won. Since round eight, they've been dynamic. Here's Leilua bringing it back just beyond the Roosters' 20. Ten gone. A try in it. Converted try at that. Over the Rabbitohs, Kenny Dow. Turned from injury last week. Big game in the draw against the Sharks. Got the first try in that one. Don't get that on a here tonight. He makes a habit of scoring first for the Roosters. As Corden plays it. Now a mistake from dummy half. A simple error. Going to say it's a knock on by the Rabbitohs. A hand in there as Friend tried to pick it up and work it away from dummy half. Here he is. And it's a correct call as well. Taylor it was who knocked it out of his hands. Yeah, Dave Taylor working well from marker. But unfortunately knocking the ball out of Friend's hand and this just gives the Roosters a repeat set, so to speak. Midfield scrum. Greg, Greg, properly. Out. It's a better start from the Roosters with their hands. Despite that scare for a moment there when the ball went to ground. Four or five they've completed so far tonight. The worst completion rate they possess in the NRL. They complete on average less than 70% of their sets. They need to do better than that tonight. A lot better. Better trouble the Rabbitohs. Here's New Asala speaking of it. A mistake by Boyd Cordner. Well, this is the area of the game that's been letting the Roosters down. Their completion rate coming here tonight. Their season average has been 66%. Showing his disappointment there, Boyd Cordner. Just doesn't give you the opportunity to build pressure if you continually turn the ball over. And that's the difference between these two teams. South Sydney, in particular, coming out of their own red zone. They limit the amount of mistakes that they make. You combine the errors that the Roosters have made in 2012, the penalties they give away, the most penalised team in the NRL. It's a bit of pill to swallow for their coach watching on each week, Brian Smith. He has contributed to their predicament, having won just two of their past ten games. Here's Luke taking it across the halfway line. It'll be a chance for the Rabbitohs to put some pressure on the back three once again. At the end of this set, Stepping from dummy half, leading four of them going again. Whether he's out wide or in close, proving to be a handful tonight for this Roosters defensive line. Off the back of that, Sutton taking them on. A good stop there made by Mitchell Pearce, and he had to make it as well. Last play goes back to Adam Reynolds, who chips it out towards Farrell and Everingham. And Moger it is who flies forward and comes down with it for the Roosters. Yeah, well, they defended that in the end quite well. South Sydney, Mossy Masui putting pressure on Adam Reynolds. But you can have all the line speed and aggression 
you like, but you need to be effective in contact. And at the moment, the Roosters are losing that battle. It was alarming the way Inglis was able to step in traffic from dummy half. As Kennedy looks for a fast play, the ball and supplies one. Yulisala comes wide. Almost a mistake again. There is, in fact. Cordner loses it. They're going to say again, though, it was stripped by the Rabbitohs. It will be six more tackles for the Sydney Roosters. A break for them. It's a real miscommunication as the ball came out towards Cordner. Might have been put off by a teammate as it turns out it worked out for them again. Here he is, taking it across the halfway line, running into the tackle there of King and also Sutton. Friend. Putting it off for Tinarau Arona, who is out there in inside 14 minutes. An early change made by Brian Smith. His friend goes one way and cuts back to the open side. Still going. Linking up here with Guerra. Gets away from Taylor. Isaac Luke needed some help from Reynolds and also Sam Burgess. And play it here with two left. 25 out from the Rabbitohs line. Friend goes to Manasta. In and away on Taylor. He wasn't falling for a dummy, but the captain dumps it out the back. It's picked up there by Mitch Orbison. And this will be the last. Friend feeding it. Across for Pierce to put it high in the air. Chasing through. Kenny Dow was there, but coming in to make a good catch was Matt King. He did well under the high ball. It's Mossy Masoy. He started the game. For Waria Hargreaves, who is gone to the bench for Timurau Arona. Lamatasi is also out there now, so two changes inside the opening quarter of an hour here by Brian Smith. Here's Taylor, working it across the 30. The play for Luke, and again, the markers weren't ready, so Luke, as ever goes, he pops a forward pass. Pass right forward, guys. Saw a chance to keep it going, takes a chance, and... Give it straight back to the Roosters. And you can see the reaction on Isaac Luke's face. He was very disappointed in himself there, coming out of trouble. This is where they've been good all season, limiting their mistakes, trying the miracle pass, going forward. And now, after being on top, you know, it just releases a little bit of pressure off the Roosters, and they get a chance to Isaac, attack from a set piece. Hold there, hold there, boys. Hold there, First error in the game. There, from the Rabbitohs. Oh, Back of the scrum win. Friend gives it away to Tau Tau Moga. Strong, strapping 18 year old still. Pierce gives it back to Lama Tarsi, who is out there now. It's early rotation amongst the forwards. Arona comes to Cordner, who runs towards McQueen and also Sutton. Crocker helps out from behind. They've used up three plays. Friend waits at dummy half. And Nasta on the right-hand side. Switches it back to Kenny now. Isolates Isaac Luke, who picks him up and takes him to ground in awkward fashion. Too, yeah, well, right. Isaac. My dangerous position. That'll go on report as well, too. He is such a strong defender and driving in low as Kenny Dow stepped and lost his momentum, all the energy in the tackle with Isaac Luke. And he had Kenny Dow at his mercy but took him down awkwardly. Yeah, he lands in a dangerous position, Sean Kenny Dow, but he's all right. The Roosters play on. Quick tap. And it's Tarsi who works it towards the uprights. A lot of possession in this last five minutes for the Roosters. Friend. Down towards Arona, out the back for Pierce. Here's Kenny Dow once again, fending away from King, diving for the corner. And we need to take a look at this to see how it turned out. Tackle two, mate. Try saving tackle one and the corner post, please. From Matty King. He's a big man. He was sliding on his line. Kenny Dow trying to get on the outside. I don't think he believes he scored. Had an opportunity to, and probably if he reached out, he may have scored. He felt himself going over the sideline. Instead of reaching out, he's tried to flick it back into the field of play. Just had the ball in the wrong hand as he went towards the corner. Had he been able to transfer it to the left hand, he might have had a pretty good crack putting it down on the line. As it turns out, a near miss for the Roosters. Touching goal, 20 metre, boys, 20 metre. 
The ball going touch Isaac. in goal. They'll bring it back out wait for up, the mate. optional restart, restart Isaac. from up, the 20. Wait wait Isaac wait, Luke wait on report for that tackle here, on, on Sean Kenny Dow will breathe a sigh of relief along with his teammates. Michael Crocker to get it going. Been under pressure inside their own territory. Got a few sets in a row now. Jason Clark is out there. He's been in good form off the bench. A developing 22-year-old who was a former captain, in fact, the first captain of the Rabbitohs Toyota Cup side back in 2008. And cemented his place in the 17 for Michael Maguire in 2012 as Crocker. Takes it across the halfway line. Luke will wait at dummy half with options either side. He comes to Sutton, turns it back on the inside for McQueen. A good tackle around the legs made by Arona. Here's the last. Coming the same way for Sutton to put it high in the air. Some pressure here on Minicello. King is there looking for the ball, but Minicello ends up with it. Another terrific catch. How good is he, Mini, with the ball in the air or on the ground? At times he looks as though he's going to fumble it. But somehow he brings it back into his body. He's a marvel, the number one for the Roosters. There really hasn't been too much between these two sides in the opening quarter of this game. The only blemish is the missed tackle by Pierce on Inglis, supplying the try for Nathan Merritt. And Asta kicking towards the corner, and they'll kick towards this corner for most of the game, you would think. The forces Greg Inglis. If he chooses so to carry the ball in the right hand and use his left hand as a fin, which is not as effective on that occasion there. He chose to kick it in the left hand, but it makes it hard for him to use that right hand fin, and they will kick towards the Rabbitohs' left hand side for most of this game, you'd imagine. Here's Everingham. Bringing it back towards the 40. He'll play it for Taylor. It's a big move in these first few tackles. Taylor met squarely there. Just throws it out the back. Didn't have a target in mind, but said, I can get the arms free. So he flipped it out the back here for Reynolds. And he'll be tackled at the halfway line for the Rabbitohs. He'll pump the play the ball after the Gips there with Brayton oh. Asler. Forward pass from Sam Burgess, who says, sir, it wasn't, but there's no risk that it was to Nathan Merritt. Yeah. Well, they've been a bit lazy here, South Sydney. Dave Taylor carried the ball to the line. He was looking to unload. There was no one pushing up in support. Sam Burgess was a little bit flat-footed. Passes the ball forward to Nathan Merritt. They've been their own worst enemy. They've had a lack of possession over the last five or ten minutes, and they're just inviting the Roosters to stay in this game. This is always going to be the challenge for South Sydney coming here tonight I'll see how I go. against a team they're expected to, to defeat. They go well against the, the high-achieving football teams. Not so the ones placed below them on the competition table. The Roosters win the scrum, as expected, and Kenny Dow plays it in Rabbitohs territory once again. This is the sixth time in the last seven games the Rabbitohs haven't conceded a point in the opening 20 minutes of the game, but they're under pressure right here. Here's Guerra. The player just inside South Sydney's 30. His friend looks for an option. To Lamatasi, who works it up towards Clark and also Burgess. Martin Kennedy replaced by Brad Takarangi. Another change by the Roosters as Friend chips it early in the tackle count. Pressure on every hand, nothing doing there to bring it back. And it ensures the Roosters get six more tackles. He took a chance. Friend could have bounced off its point and gone dead and cost them possession, but they get it back from the goal line dropout. Yeah, that was an interesting decision for Drake Friend because the, the outside men of the Roosters, they weren't chasing extremely hard it looked as though there was a lack of communication and might have been a set play and someone's forgot their role and English drops out from underneath the sticks and the Roosters get another set of possession and it's Leilua who brings it back to almost the Rabbitohs 30 he is Paul there which must have been flat at best he looks forward to Tarsi, not a good away with one, as Arona works it towards Burgess. Stopped also by Nathan Peets, who is out there now. Comes <laughs> to Pierce, the player is in motion. Kenny Dowell, a variation on the play they used last week to score against the Sharks. The opening try of the game. His friend comes back to Pierce. Midfield is Arona, met there in a 
tackle by Clark. Good stop as well. He takes him to ground 10 metres out. Last play here for the Roosters. Goes to Anasta, who chips it. Pressure on Everingham once again. Moga is there. The Rabbitohs have missed it. Gordon has come down with it. And we're Sweet going to check the contest. the contest. Mate, I'm happy with the grounding. Who's won the contest, mate? Well, he's happy with the onside and he's happy with the, the contest. Oh, the grounding. We just need to see the contest. The ball goes up from Braith and Nasta. Everyone's okay. That's the first thing. And it becomes a contest between Moga and Inglis. And it's Inglis who touches the football into the hands of Cordner. Yeah, Inglis has touched it. And this will be a four-pointer for the Roosters. A good comeback, and they've been their own worst enemy, South Sydney. They had the better of the opening exchanges, and now they've just continually invited the Roosters back into the game. And there's the green light. This field position providing points for the Roosters. Give them a chance to get level. Boyd Cordner, the try scorer off the... Misplayed bomb by the back three. Inglis got there late. Everingham wasn't going to get there in the contest with Tau Tau Moga. And Boyd Cordner is a player who can make things happen, as we saw in round one, when he put that delicious kick in for Anthony Minicello to score the winner at the death well, at top, ANZ Stadium. And at times, the, the bomb or the crossfield kick, it's hard to defend. As an attacking team, if you can get your players there at the same time as the defending team is attacking it and you make it a contest, anything can happen. As was shown there. Now we might have an issue with the quad bike, do we, that brings the kicking tee out yeah. <laughs> for Braith and Astor. Yes, we do. Out of gas. Might have, hit, might have got a flat. <laughs> They're not throwing tacks onto the field, are they? Like the Tour de France. <laughs> oh, we'll need to get the support car out to uh, change bikes. Here's a Nasta. Corbin from touch. The strike hits the upright and stays out. Well, it was a bad omen when the bike broke down, wasn't it? That was never a good sign. No, it wasn't a good sign, but. He's back on the bike. The bike is up and running again, Was Oh, is that right? Yes. He would have been a bit embarrassed, the young ball boy, I think. As embarrassed as the person who's in charge of <laughs> keeping the engine ticking on that thing. Farrell with the restart. It's a deep one as well. Inside the Roosters in goal area. It's Lamatasi who brings it out. The rivalry tonight in this 205th meeting. Developing a try apiece. Just the two points, the difference is Friend in trouble, dumps it out the back. Did the ball touch the line? Yes, it did. And strong defence by the Rabbitohs. Yeah, not that close, mate. As Jay no, Friend close. tried to sneak close, down the mate. short right. side, will give South Sydney a chance to hit straight back. And it's so important after points you get your kick. And Jake Friend, he made an incisive run down a short side. But watch the way that South Sydney hold him up. They don't let him go to ground. They get the numbers in and they can force him over the sideline. Make sure all the way in there, Anthony, properly. Thanks, oh, well, boys, stay with it. Oh, go. My memory serves me correctly. They did exactly the same thing last week against the, the Sharks. Heads down, don't back away. After scoring points, got carried yeah, across the sideline in very similar fashion. And it gives South Sydney a chance back at this end of the field, and they haven't been here for a long time, but here comes Inglis. He takes it inside the Roosters 20 to play it for King. Works it back towards the uprights for a settler. And got a full set from close range. Isaac Luke waiting for it. Peets is there. He takes it towards the post. Players get skilled everywhere. Bird just got knocked over. Peets went close. Luke going one way. Fires it back the other for Taylor from close range. Two on one. Everingham. The presence of Taylor. Drew defenders to him. It opened it up for Everingham. 
whose fairy tale of a season continues and the Rabbitohs extend their lead. Well, what about this work from Dave Taylor? The footwork and the flick pass. Anasta's having words with Sam Burgess. He's not happy about something. But big Dave Taylor. His ability to carry the ball into the line, but also play before the line. Isaac Luke going one way, got a late call from Reynolds, and there you see the step and the ability to drag in defenders. And the offload created the numbers on the outside. That is a special play. A late call from Reynolds. Watch this here. Right foot, left foot. Drags in a couple of defenders, pass to Farrell, Farrell onto Everingham. And isn't he having a wonderful year, Andrew Everingham? 12 tries now in 14 games. Brayton Astor had quite a bit to say to Sam Burgess, who was all smiles, as is this man, Andrew Everingham. Put together his own DVD to impress somebody to get a start. Fight it out left, right, and center to NRL clubs. Chance with the Rabbitohs. An extended deal off the back of his early season form. And an important try in this battle between the arch rivals tonight. From the sideline, Adam Reynolds. I think at the moment the best kicker in the NRL. Kicks plenty of these from the sideline. The strike is a good one. He gets the flags in the air, and the Rabbitohs fans find their voice at Allion Stadium. They're on their feet because this kid, the 22-year-old halfback, turns four into six. That was amazing. It did not look like missing. He hits them so straight. The accuracy is there always. Yeah, he's the best. There's nobody better in the NRL at the moment, kicking it a tick under 90% for the season. Oh, Burgess bringing it back at pace. And Tarsi was brave, amongst others, to take him head on. And in trying to slow down the penalty, Burgess, a wink and a nod to Isaac Luke. The boys are fired up suddenly. Well, the argument with Braith has certainly fired up Sam Burgess. The carry was his strongest of the night. He was met there in a, a good tackle by Tarsi. Some solid contact. Burgess lands on his front. They didn't want to lose the ruck there. They're giving away a penalty and here comes South Sydney. This could be a very big set of six. In context of this game, almost half an hour gone. 12-4 it is. It's Burgess who works it up towards Friend. He'll be ruining the mistake. Trying to sneak down the short side. Turned over possession. Everingham scored off the back of it. Nathan Peets playing in a back row role at the moment for Michael Crocker, who is off the field. Sutton showing it. He had some size on his outside in McQueen and also King. And on the end of the line on this left-hand side, Burgess spinning, finding Reynolds, who sees a chance to kick. Inglis was going quickly. Minicello got there, and Orbison did very well in legally... Helping to run Inglis off the ball. I don't know about legally. No. No. I had my doubts. I had my doubts, but they got away with it. He sees opportunities, Reynolds. What a kick he put in for Everingham to score last week against the Newcastle Knights in a similar position. That's a piece of play. And he took a chance right there, and Inglis almost got there. The man who beat him to admit it, playing it appears to slip over as he comes back towards the halfway line. And Isaac Luke. Well, he got that lift down in a lock. And gave the referee a chance, Shane Hayne, as a result, to blow the whistle, which he did. And it hasn't been a, a happy 30 minutes in terms of discipline for Isaac Luke. He's dropped the ball, he's given away two penalties. Here we are, boys, here. And the Roosters go into field one position. One and just on young Reynolds, he's just got the ability to to react off any situation. He's going to be one of these players we'll be talking about for a long time to come. Takarangi playing it. Here are the Roosters. They're going to close this gap. Arona. Stop there in the tackle of Sam Burgess. Very involved. 16 tackles. Half a dozen hit-ups as well as Friend. 
He stops seven metres out from the Rabbitohs line. Arona gets the dummy half, fires it over the head. Good hands by Guerra. Sailed over the top of Cordner. Don't know they want Arona in there at dummy half from close range. And Nasta back on the inside for Cordner. They were waiting for him. Taylor was there with some help from Reynolds. And they stop him on the last. And Nasta, under pressure, gets a kick away. It floats out towards Takarangi. Gives it to Arona. He flips it over the shoulder. It comes out to Leilua. He grubbers. Keeps it in play. Got it back. Check where he comes from. Was he in the field of play? That'll be six. Just check to see if he's out when he gets the ball. Before he made contact with the ball, did he get a foot back on the field side of the sideline? before grabbing the ball. If he has, it's a remarkable piece of play. Well, that's what we're looking for. It was great skill by Leilua. There was not much happening. Braith and Nasta, the crossfield kick. It was off the side of the boot. And then they chuck it out the back. Leilua here is surrounded by South Sydney defenders. He kicks it. He then goes outside the field of play. It bounces in the air and he grabs it. And I think his feet are in the air. It didn't make it back into the field of play. It looked like on that first replay. Watch his right foot. Oh, his right foot there is in touch. No try. What a let off. You can tell here. His contact there. Right foot. Outside the field of play, left foot in the air. He doesn't get back into the the playing arena, and therefore this will be Take a no try. It's a scrum. It's a, it's a scrum. 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 boys. He's kicked in the touch. Yeah, because it was already out. They've gone close to scoring scrum. a couple of times now in that in corner. Touch. It was kicked in the touch. In the touch. Kenny Dow almost getting there. They lure likewise. It stays at 12 points to four. It was a heads-up piece of play, though, off the... The ball out the back. Cinderau or Rona. What a catch from Brad Takarangi, who was up above them. An AFL Ruckman, and he hit his man as well. The next pass had a foul to play. would have been a four-pointer for the Roosters. That's a let off for South Sydney. Here is David Taylor pushing out there on the tackle. Jake Friendly might have dislocated a finger here as well. He quickly motioned towards the trainer saying, I've got an issue. Here is Clark. Bringing it back up towards the halfway line. Look away if you're squeamish. Here's Nathan Peets. A little step. Fast play the ball here on tackle number five. Sutton, under pressure though, gets the kick in. Tries to find the turf between Leilua. And Minicello picked out Leilua on the full. Herded back towards his own goal line by McQueen. Strong defence on the chase. So they'd like to spend a bit of time down here, South Sydney. Possession and field position has gone against them in the opening 30 minutes. But I think they believe down here they can score points on the Roosters as Minicello carries the ball strongly from acting half. Here is Kenny Dow working it away from Dummy Half. You mentioned that finger injury for David Taylor. He has come straight from the field with a dislocated finger and Ed Pettiborn is out there for him. Pierce has a pass knocked to ground by Adam Reynolds. Where's Adam? Where is Taylor going up the tunnel to the dressing room? Well, as I could see, the finger might have been back in place, but they'll take the chance with him off the field now to go and check him out completely. Yeah, there he is, pointing to the, ooh, ooh, the little finger. Big Dave Taylor. It's put in place. But I like that from Mitchell Pierce, travelling to the left side of the field, running the ball to the line. He needs to get more involved. He needs to get his hands on the ball. Here's Minicello. As the Roosters come back at them again. Eight tackles so far inside the rubber nose 20. Just the four for South Sydney at the other end of the field. Almost 34 minutes gone. Friend. Getting it away to Cordner. Links up with Guerra. They're playing about 25 metres away. Friend. He's putting a ball on there for Orbison, who always runs a good line. He's going to have the courage to run that hole as well. 
And he hung on to the pass. Not an easy thing to do as Pierce goes to the line. Knocked down there by Luke. Good hands by Friend. And Nasta spins it away to Minicello, who shows it. Gets away from Sutton. Crowds him on the edge. And as a result, he was an easy target for Sutton, who kept coming with the help of King. Last tackle. And Nasta on this right-hand side now. Bombing back across to where they scored their first try. A lovely catch, though, made by Dylan Farrell. He made it look easy, Dylan Farrell. Gordon was taken out of play there. There was a nudge on him. Jake! Survive again, the Rabbitohs. Everyone from going half. Works it up towards the 30 with five minutes remaining in this first half. Is there another chapter in Russell Crowe's? Book of feuds in the making here tonight. Nathan Merritt works it across the 40. Last play for Luke to work it from dummy half. He'll kick himself. He hooks it away successfully from Minicello. Good kick by the dummy half. Minicello looking. To come out to the right hand side. They took a chance there. Pierce was back there. Flipped it away. Came across to Kenny Dow. Wow, what a play from the fullback. He showed some confidence in the men outside him, and Kenny Dowell it is who works it up towards the 40. Well, Brian Smith's heart would have been in his mouth. He had made a mistake there. Anthony Minicello just before half time. Here's Cordner working it back to the halfway line. Friend to a Nasta. See him taking the line on like that. Big enough to play in the back row. and. Many think that's his best position. Is it the position he plays for the Tigers? And Tim Sheen to 2013. Last play for Friend. To a master again. Who puts it up. Some pressure here on English. Standing flat-footed underneath it. Takarangi was there once again. It came backwards off English. It had touched him. Reynolds has it. They surge out towards the right-hand side. And they'll play it just beyond their own 10. He was looking to counter-attack then, Greg English. He was looking to team up with young Reynolds. This every him once again. Makes a strong run. He's able to beat the tackle of Arona before he's wrapped up there in cover. Got to steam up pretty quickly, didn't he? Now Sutton getting to the right-hand side of the field. Might be an issue here for Greg Inglis. Out the back behind the player, Sam Burgess offloads and links up with Isaac Luke. Got it away to Nathan Peets. He puts it off to Sutton. Trying to step away there from Arona. Might have been thinking about an offload himself. There's a knee issue, perhaps, with Inglis. There's an ongoing issue with a knee in 2012. And now Isaac Luke stepping out from dummy half. Almost got the arms free. Reynolds was looming up in support. We'll go to him now. Just inside the 30. He grubbers. Looking to put some pressure here on Minicello. He's been terrific at the back. Despite giving, I'm sure, Brian Smith and every Roosters fan here a heart attack with his previous effort, Takarangi. He juggled it, got it back before it hit the turf. An error inside their own 20 a couple of minutes out from half-time. Here's Leilua. Playing it for Friend. Takes it across the field, running a long way there before he came to Sam Burgess. He leads the tackle count for the Rabbitohs. Pierce a dummy half, and Nasta, Cordner, away to Warburson, tries to fend away from Reynolds, and with Farrell coming over the top, they stopped him at the halfway line. He's back to a Nasta again. He's down the field, floating across. Inglis is certainly hobbling. He showed no urgency to get to that ball, and he was limping as Merritt took it forward. Yeah, he's just trying to get through to half time, Greg Inglis. Matt King carrying the ball, but with the Roosters, when they're passing, they've got no second wave of attack. If they have someone that's sweeping out the back, I think they can cause the Rabbitohs some problems. Just not pushing up hard enough for one another in support of the ball. There's Pettibourne playing it, says Luke. Is it Nathan Peets? And again, just puts the foot down and takes the metres available to him. Back up there by Masoy, who is back out there now at the back end of this first half. So back on the inside there for Ringless. It's almost the Smith, Cronk and Slater play. Didn't quite work out this time around with Inglis unable to take the ball under pressure. Yeah, and it's a dangerous play late in the game when the forwards start to become fatigued. They're not thinking properly. 
and you have the hooker and the, a half linking with the fullback back through the ruck. You've got to be switched on. It's red alert anytime Inglis is around that area. Anytime he's around the football, right, he's there for a loose. reason. Mitchell, two hands, square to the scrum. Sure and it goes, and it goes. Get it in. Scrum feed for the Roosters, perhaps a surprise from inside their own half here. They just work it through the hands. Might have been a chance for a kick to send Moga on a run against the outside men of the Rabbitohs. Guerra at the halfway line, threatening to pass, spinning in the tackle there of Pettiborn. There'll be a teammate of Anastas at the Tigers in 2013 as Frank links up with Pierce. They come back to the short side. Anasta has it now. Gets away from the tackle to Arona. He can't come up with it. Neither can Tonda. Sutton will pick it up. And a chance here for the Rabbitohs with 10 seconds remaining. Here's Pete. Pettyborn will bump it forward. Probably needs to offload it. The siren will sound before he gets a chance to play it. Pierce, desperate for the siren to sound. They get the tackle in. Reynolds from the halfway line with a field goal attempt. Well, it was on target. It was short, though. He had the line, but not the length. And that'll do us for the opening 40. In the final game of rivalry round here in round 19, the Rabbitohs lead the Roosters 12 points to four. We'll take a break and come back with Ryan Brandy to take a look at the first half highlights right after this. Injury update first. Greg Inglis is back. A knock on the knee, not a tear or a strain, but he's had it retaped in the break at half time. Lama Tarsi for the Roosters has an AC shoulder complaint. They've worked on him at half time as well. Michael Maguire was pretty relaxed in the South's dressing room. He spoke about the style of football that they've practiced as second half football. He said, we've practiced it repeatedly. Time to put it into, um, into fruition tonight. Both coaches happy defensively with what their sides have done. Brian Smith, though, spoke about better set structure leading up to the key offensive play. He thought they were making up a little bit in the first half. He also spoke about security. Those drop balls are killing him again, Was I've heard them at times, no question about that. Sam Burgess. Played all 40 minutes in the first half, 23 tackles, a few offloads as well. His defence, key feature of his effort in that opening half. Set two as well with the man who's going to get us underway in this second half, Braith and Asta. Time on. Second 40 on Monday Night Football. Final game of round 19. Ravenos looking to move back inside the top four. Roosters need a victory. Keep themselves in touch with the top eight. Three off the pace of the eight. If they can win here tonight. Just gave away a penalty there with Nathan Merritt coming down heavily on the front of his back after being in midair for a moment. Here is Sam Burgess playing it short of the 30. Penny Bourne going up towards Guerra and also Arona. Two tries to one in that opening half. Isaac Luke threads the needle to find Sam Burgess running towards Braith and Nasta, who gives him a little bit of a what for as well on the ground. Transpired between the two of them off the back of the Andrew Everingham try, but they weren't seeing eye to eye. They might built on feuds and the rivalry between these two neighbours. Here's Pierce giving it to Tau Tau Moga. Limited touches in that first half. Right here for friend goes to Warbus. Rising his role as a forward. Regular centre at the moment though for the Roosters as friend finds him in a channel with close hand. And there was a bit of an opening. Closed quickly between Luke from Marker and Pettyborn. And now Cordner keeps the role going. And big metres in this opening set of six for the Roosters. And Pierce puts it in the air. Some pressure here on Merritt going up for it, making a good catch. And if he gets away from Pierce, there might be a problem. Well, he just about did. Pierce had to come again to get him. Otherwise, Merritt was gone. Good effort by the halfback to stay with the flying winger. McQueen will play it. Inglis, Sutton, Reynolds. Rabideau's turn a bomb catch. An attacking set of six in the blink of an eye. Luke feeding across here for Pettyborn. 
He'll play it just outside the Roosters 20. Two plays left in this set. It comes to Sutton. He goes wide. Chance here for King going towards Pierce and a wrapping tackle around the shoulders. He did well again. Dragged the big centre to ground. Last tackle. And they'll feed it back for a kick from Sutton across the field. Looking for Peets was there. Burgess also backwards and play on was the call. It came to Reynolds. They will hold him up. And they're going to say it was touched by the Roosters. That's the zero tackle. Burgess takes a chance. They get another chance here. Reynolds picks it up. Throws a dummy. Takes them on. A touch. And the contest for the ball by the Roosters. And the Rabbitohs have six more on top of the Roosters' line. Here's Peets. But a decoy there from Clark. He takes it towards Masoy and also Cordner. They get some help from Arona. They've used up just two. Here's Luke in behind them. Well, decoys crashing Roosters out of the play all over the place. And the referee says, I'll call it myself. It's an obstruction. Well, I think he gave himself up there, Isaac Luke, and then decided to go for the try. Hoping that they may go upstairs to have a look at it. Great scramble, the French from the Roosters. They were under all sorts of pressure to start this second half. There he is, Isaac Luke, dummy running around, giving himself up, and then going, no, nah, I'm going to try and score the try. Great reaction, though, from South Sydney. The way they went from attack, uh, defence, attacking formation. The back of the skill, the aerial ability. Nathan Merritt. Here's Guerra. Takes it back to the halfway line. Four gone. No change to our halftime scoreline here. It's a runner linking up with Minicello. What about the sound you could hear? And Isaac Luke drilled him squarely in the chest. Sucked the wind out of Minicello, who bounced back to his feet to play it. He's in there behind the play, the ball, barking instructions. Rona playing. Guerra loses the ball. A chance here for Reynolds now to go on the counter-attack. Another mistake by the Roosters. Another mistake, but when they run the football, there's no shape. It's just pass, pass. They have to have a second wave of attack. They have to have a sweep one around the back. They have to have bodies in motion. Otherwise, it's just simple. It is too easy for South Sydney. And a good job so far. And now McQueen stepping through a couple of tackles. Cordner comes from behind. The Rabbitohs, if you keep giving them this sort of field position, will make you pay. Pete's trying to find an opening. Just about did as well. Grabbed there by Anasta, but only just 15 away. King goes from dummy half. South Sydney surging towards the line, trying to extend this lead, which stands at eight. Here's Luke from dummy half. A flat ball there for Pettyborn, who did well to hang on to it. He got crunch for his trouble by Masoy and also Guerra. Tackle five, and it's tackle coming up. Well, it's a tough run. Near the line. Going at 100 miles an hour. You know the defence is going to meet you and whack you. And Mossy Masoy is one of the biggest men in the NRL. This is how he's put a shot here on Ed Pettibourne. You do very well to control the ball in that situation because you know that you are. You, at times, you're going to wear a shot. I think it's a head clash there with Masoy and Pettibourne. Hard ball to take because they're right on top of him. And you're exactly right. The head, the side of the head of Pettibourne wearing a shot from the head of Masoy accidentally. It's a courageous run. Okay. Take him from the field. No doubt he's slightly dazed and it looked as though they were concerned about his neck as well. It's a hand from Mossy Masoy. Plenty of rivalry between the fans here tonight, the two supporter bases. Good sportsmanship shown between the two combatants involved in that play. You're going to play the ball? You're going to play the ball. I'm not going to pass it. The look from the Rabbitohs bench is that Pennyborn took a shot will knock to the head late in the first half as well. I'll take no chances with him. Still uneasy on his feet going back towards the Rabbitohs bench. So it's Luke Burgess who comes back on. They have one more play here. A couple of metres out. 
and they'll feed it back for Reynolds to chip it towards the corner. Out there is Merritt. King goes up for it. It might have been Sean Kenny Dow, in fact, who came down with the catch for the Roosters. So they hang on once again. Yeah, that's good work there by Kenny Dow. They've got some good leapers, South City, King and Inglis and Farrell and Merritt. The Roosters have responded at this stage to the ball in the air. away from McQueen and also Sutton. The Rabbitohs have a good record over the past couple of seasons. When leading at half time, they've won 14 of 16 in that situation since the beginning of 2011. And Kenny Dow on the last. Couldn't find somebody to pass it to, so he says, I'll kick it myself. It was only a couple of bounces short of maybe too long from being a very Why good kick and forcing Inglis to scramble whistle. back from the dead ball line. I still think the Roosters will accept that kick. Inglis is not returning the ball. With a chance to defend South City from a set piece. Especially when you're the dummy half and looking for a kicker and can't find one. Longish range as well. Luke Burgess, the replacement for Pettibourne, brings it back towards the 40s. Luke picks up here with Sam Burgess, as ever. Absorbs the impact and then picking out the back. Chance to offload if somebody was there. If he could get the arm free. Gives it to McQueen. Staying for the most part on that left-hand side. He's running his line so far in this game. And now Luke. Masai called out of it. Here's Clark. Only Minicello in front of him looking for Ringless. And I was snaffled by Guerra who saves a try. A good support play there by Jason Clark. If he had his time over again, he wouldn't have gone for the full pass as the Roosters go on the counter-attack. There's a problem here. Moga is away. There's nobody in front of him. Farrell won't catch him. And Tau Tau Moga scores for the Roosters. And in a moment, they'll be back within two. Against the run of play, the Rabbitohs a chance to score at the other end. A quick shift. And Moga, big and strong and fast to go with it. Well, Isaac Luke out of dummy half. Jason Clark going for the miracle pass. And you cannot do it in today's environment. If you turn the ball over and the opposition get in shape and formation quickly, the counter-attack is on. And Moga finds himself into some space, races away to score. And against the run of play, the Roosters have hit back. And won't they be confident after that? Well, what it'll be 18 years of age, Lauren, be able to run like that when you get a chance and be as big and as strong as he is. He's going to be a monster. Oh, he's going to be a good player. And Nasta from close range, as expected, adds the extra two. And it's a game worthy of the advanced billing, isn't it? There was so much hype in the lead up to this game. Well, you just see with the, the Roosters how desperately they were defending their line in the early stages of the second half. They weren't going to give up cheap points. Emotionally, they're in the contest, taking on their arch rivals. And a mistake from the opposition, and they've pounced. Afaseliawini is out there now for the Roosters. And a chance again tonight, as he did the Sharks last week after switching clubs from the Panthers to Bondi Junction mid-season just before June 30. And here he is getting out of dummy half. And this is what he does so well. There'll be some alarm bells ringing in this defensive line in the middle of the field for the Rabbitohs, especially those big forwards. And Celia Winnie will test them out. And off the back of his run is Minicello. Unlucky not to get a penalty there in the tackle of Reynolds. He was trying to slow him down. New Asala is back out there. Looking at the Takarangi. Space on the edge for Kenny Dow to go towards King. King stays with him with some help from Sutton. They've got one more tackle. 20 metres out. The Roosters looking for the lead right here. Pierce puts it up. Minicello is there. Farrell came from nowhere to steal it from him. Wow, what a take from Dylan Farrell. Minicello had highs for the football, but in the end, he didn't get a chance to contest it. He just took it out of his grasp, and here the Roosters are, off their line, looking to put shots on. 
There's an atmosphere suddenly here at Allianz befitting this game. The Roosters fans buoyant at the moment. Team surging here after 10 minutes of the second half. Sutton almost away there from Kenny Dow. And Luke almost easily from dummy half. He's put his team under pressure. Pete dumped it back to Luke. We've got a hurried kick away and it goes down to Minicello. Exactly sure what Isaac Luke was doing there at dummy half. But he put himself and his team under pressure and Moga had a chance to wind up again on this left-hand side. They lost their way in that set of six. Sutton getting caught near a sideline on last play. A poor pass from Isaac Luke, then a poor kick. And the Roosters have found energy. Celioini. Spark plug at dummy half. Oh, Sam Burgess rocking back the head of Aidan Guerra there. He took the shot OK and will play it just outside the 30. Now Niwasala running to Taylor and also Luke Burgess. Got a ball away for Celioini to go back and clear it up. He skips back towards them and Reynolds makes a good legs tackle with some help there from Peets. His friend, the nasty on the short side. It's a numbers, Guerra. Running into the tackle there of Farrell. Keeping it alive though for Friend. And stopped by Reynolds and also Everingham. They'll have one more play. A kick from the sideline. And Nasta feeds it back to the middle in fact. Pierce will fire a long ball. A good pass to Takarangi. Stepping. Giving it to Minicello. Wrapping it around the back. He grubbers. Not played it by the Rabbitohs. It was in fact. Six more tackles for the Roosters. Pierce, does he realise that? He comes to the line, Celioini. Monstered there by Burgess. But they have a full set of six from close range. And Nasta comes up to Pierce. Steps away from Luke Burgess. The gap closed. The ball out the back. Knocked on, was it? Yes, it was. The Rabbitohs off the hook. Oh, what a passage of play from both teams. The Roosters keeping it alive. Just some great scramble defence from the Rabbitohs. Jake Friend losing the ball. Hey, hey, you want me to make a call? There was call some great you'll be sitting down. Tackling so zip it. From individuals there, Sam Burgess, the tackle on Celiawini Sil was a ripper. Back it up, Roosters. Tidro. It was a tackle that guys. needed to be made, and it was made. And Pierce, looking like he was going to score, and I think it was Burgess again. For a big man, his ability to cover the ground and cover from the inside is remarkable. Still leads the tackle count for the Rabbitohs with 28 now to go along with his 13 hit-ups. The only Rabbitoh forward in double figures the carries of the ball. An enormous effort it has been. And Sam Burgess, one of the five co-captains the Rabbitohs have employed in 2012. Here's Everingham. Takes it just beyond the 30. What a game it's building up to be in this Final 27 or so minutes. Luke Burgess to play it. Nathan Peets from dummy half links up with Sutton. It takes some stopping. Good run. By the 5-8. It 42 away from the Roosters line. The kick, not a great one, although it works out to be pretty good now with Minicello. Skipped past his right boot, bounced off the upright. He almost slipped over. All under control as ever, with Mini bringing it back just beyond the Roosters 10. Leilua. Step away there from Taylor. Michael Crocker is at a fair stint back on the bench. And he's fresh back out there now as they work it from Pierce. Look at Moga. Again, the pass was flat from Pierce to the winger who comes midfield for a carry. Minimal gain for him. Celia Wing. Up and through the hands of Arona. Away to Warburton. Again, runs the hard line. Reynolds has been left on the ground here. Maybe a problem for the Rabbitohs halfback. The kick, almost out on the full, it bounced. Set up a point, Merritt bringing it back. And oh, this is a big concern here for Adam Reynolds. He missed all of last season with a knee reconstruction. He is still behind the Roosters' defensive line. It's a knee they're looking at. Here is Sutton. Taylor bringing it back to the halfway line. We'll play it for Peets. Across to Luke Burgess running towards Anasta and also New Asala. The ball goes to ground Come off the boots. They go to say is a knock on Definitely against the Rabbitohs. The, the Roosters will get possession. Importantly, yeah, while that play was happening, Reynolds was back on his feet, but immediately 
Slumps back to the ground and it's the ankle now they're looking at. Well, this could be big news for South Sydney supporters and you can see the left ankle getting caught under the weight of some bodies there. And he's strapping the left ankle up now. South Sydney supporters would have had their hearts in their, their mouths knowing that he was coming off the back of a, a knee reconstruction and there's not the knee which is giving him some problems at this stage. Well, the crowd tonight certainly has built up since kickoff. A tick Let's under 20,000 here tonight at Allion Stadium. Let's see the 205th oh, meeting between the Rabbitohs the and the Roosters. The last two standalone clubs from 1908. Teliwini off the back of the scrum win. He's had that left ankle heavily taped. He's still hobbling. He makes his way back in the defensive line as the Roosters come back towards his side of the field. Hacker Rangi has been a threat with his carry since coming off the bench early in the game. New Asala trying to follow suit. Ran towards McQueen, who did well with some help from Luke Burgess. Celiwini again. Corona, who plays the first receiver role for Anasta to show it. Run towards Reynolds and also Sam Burgess there riding shotgun with his halfback. They got tangled up. Burgess will give away a penalty. You can't, you gotta go there. Right. I understand, but you gotta go out. I understand. Keen to assert his authority perhaps in the tackle. They trail by two. It's a very kickable one. Play on. And they will go for four. A big call by the Roosters, perhaps. Looking to take the lead, not level it up. New Asala at the back for Pierce. It goes to Kenny Dow. Fends away from King. Comes back towards the middle. Looking to link up with somebody. Burgess is there. He can't make the tackle. His friend. Something must open up eventually. Friend will take it to ground. Five metres out from the Rabbitohs line. Waiting for a Nasta at dummy half. Comes back here for a Rona. He settles things. Takes a tackle. Five metres out in front of the uprights. Playing it for Celiawini. Now a Nasta. The ball back on the inside for Friend. Who got across the line but they will hold him up. He'll play it in the field of play. Minicello and Nasta comes across to Pierce. Surging out towards the right-hand side again. Takarangi, the ball goes past Kenny Dow. Lay Lua for the corner. He thinks he's got there. Yeah, this is last tackle. We're checking touch line and then grounding. Well, hasn't this game come to life in the second half? The Roosters getting some possession and challenging the South Sydney team all over the paddock. Jake Friend looked as though he'd scored. Oh! Is there separation? This angle here will give us a better look as the ball comes from his grasp. I think you would have to say he still had part of his hand on the ball. Well, in the old days, this wouldn't have been a try. But there's hands on the ball. There is hands. There's a finger on the ball. We've seen plenty of these given. In recent times, you'd imagine, despite the ball coming loose, that angle there, the head-on one, is the worst, I think, of the lot. But everything else suggests that he still had at least the outside part of his hand on the ball as it made contact with the turf. Here's a big call. No try! Well, I think on the evidence, that's a tough call. Well, you, you just take control out of it. it it's just separation. and. For mine, there was a finger on the ball. I think we've seen worse ones than that given. At least in the last month or so of this 2012 season. And the Roosters haven't had much luck with the referees at times. I certainly can say that about their season in 2012. I think they're a bit stiff right there not to get the call given what we've seen awarded so far this season. Sutton Taylor almost crashing through. Does that prove to be a huge turning point in this game? Crocker working it forward. We'll play it here. 
just outside the Roosters 40. Comes across to Reynolds, who has to put the foot down. He grabs in behind them. Minicello coming forward again. So brave as he was in the first half as well. He's been tremendous tonight, Anthony Minicello. With that no-try decision, you can't let that affect your mentality. If you're the Roosters, you've got to lift your energy levels, if anything, and continue to surge forward, to continue to use the ball on the edges. Do not rest for one moment. Here is Sydney linking up with Arona. He's a big role these days off the bench. 31 tackles, carries, and does a lot of first receiver work, linking up with the forwards around him. I'll play it here. Just outside the Rabbitohs 40, through Celiawini. Minicello gets the dummy half, and Nasta comes across to Pierce. Crocker was out for him. The contact was okay, they'll say. Inglis goes to the air to make sure nobody can tackle him as the ball comes down and he makes contact with it. And he's wrapped up there by Kennedy and also Guerra. Now Everingham. Contest this is proving to be. Sutton. Game you'd hoped for to round out round 19. What a rivalry this is. Rocker surging back towards the halfway line. He'll play it there after four. But he could play the ball as well. Beats his no look pass was forward. An unnecessary risk taken by the young back rower come dummy half. Doesn't matter who called it. The no look pass late in the tackle count. And it gives the Roosters the ball in good field position. And trying to play fat, uh, flat on the advantage line. The no-look pass travels forwards. Forwards out of the hand. And again, South Sydney turned the ball over to the Roosters. In a tight game when your season's on the line. And when you're playing for a top four position. This is the time in the game that your leaders put their hand up. 20 to go. Lead by example. And they come up with a clutch play. Who's it going to be? Roosters know the scenario. Lose here tonight. It's going to be a very tough call to make them. the top eight. They would probably need to win six of their final seven games if they were to sneak a berth in the finals. Here's Kenny Down. And help their cause right here. He's away. Loses his footing. And he's nabbed from behind by Luke Burgess. They'll play it. Just outside the 20, here's Pierce. He goes to the line, gets away from Taylor. Sam Burgess is there again to help out Reynolds from the tackle between the two halfbacks. Anasta to Minicello, shows it. Dumps it off for Arona. He works it forward towards Peets. And they'll play it on the last five metres out. And they take the lead away from them. Pierce's kick, nobody chasing through with any great speed. They didn't know it was on. And Inglis... Well, he took it out of play, they're going to say. He wasn't dead when he made contact with it. It'll be a goal line dropout. Well, he had plenty of time there, Greg Inglis. I don't know whether he got a call or it just bounced back up into his body. Well done, mate. And there it is. There was no one there chasing through. It's a good call. He wasn't quite yep. on the line when the ball time made contact run, guys, with him. Run. Stay, Stay down. On Wait, Dave. <laughs> it will be Inglis who drops it out. The roots to come back. At them once again, Minicello did well on a completely bouncing ball to come up with possession. And Kennedy, he'll play it just outside the Rabbitohs 30. Here's Arona running towards George Burgess, who is out there now. All three of them on the field at the same time. The Burgess trio he might have replaced Brother Luke. They're 15 away. Celiawini waiting at dummy half. And Nasta giving it to Fred. Running as the back rower now is Celiawini out there. Really difficult to handle at times. Plays it quickly. Celiawini goes to Pierce. Shift, shift to the right hand side. Lay Lua won't be denied this time. He knows he's got this one. And the Roosters know they have the lead. Well, what about the pass from Brad Takarini? He's made a difference in this game tonight when he's carried the football. But on this occasion, it was a cutout pass to the unmarked Leilua. Takarangi there, skips to the outside. Merritt decides to jam in and help 
help out Matty King and assumed that Kenny Dow was going to receive the ball. And Lay Lua, he scores and makes up for the earlier mistake. Great skill, great ability from Takarengi to go to the line and pass it. It was sharp, it was well directed, and they have hit the lead. And we saw the reaction from Greg Inglis at the back of his taking the ball out of play when it was bouncing from Mitchell Pierce, a kick which looked to be an ineffective one, but it worked out. They got the drop out, and off the back of that set, they score out wide through Le Lua. It was denied just five minutes ago. Gets across the line, and now Braitha Nasta to wedge them out. A further two. His kick from the sideline is good. 16 points to 12. The Roosters over the Rabbitohs with 15 remaining. And a massive upset in the making right here tonight. Well, there's still 15 to go. There is still 15 minutes to go. Anything can happen. And we start to see now whether South Sydney have got that top four quality. How much it means to them to push into the top four after 19 rounds of football. The Roosters have had so much ball in this game. 56% they've had. After 65 minutes, they've increased the margin they had at half time. Here is Kennedy. Looking up towards the 40, just three plays. They're almost back at the red stripe. Minicello comes to Cordner. A couple of unhappy touches with his first few possessions early in the game. Hit back strongly from that point on. Minicello going from dummy half. And they're back on the attack with one play up their sleeve. Looking to put the foot on the throat of the Rabbitohs. And Nasta goes wide again. Here's Takarangi. This time he grubbers pressure here on Inglis to come up with it. And he gets to ground there as Leilua and Takarangi make the tackle. So one, one moment there. It looked to be uncertainty in between, between Inglis and, and Merritt on who was going to get the ball. Inglis ends up with it. But South, uh, South are battling at the moment. And the energy is all with the Roosters. And that's a strong, tough carry from Dave Taylor and a fast play the ball. Back on the angle. Ball there from Sutton to Merritt, which had to be close to being forward. But Merritt again, another good run from deep inside his own territory. Here's Inglis going from dummy half. Pierce was called out of it. He had no part to play. Takarangi, they made the tackle for him. Sutton comes across to Reynolds. His kicking game needs to come to the fore right now. He kicks it away from Minicello. It's a good one. Mini has to play at it. Farrell is there. He'll trap him. What a result for South Sydney. That's a big result, a big kick. Minicello trying to do the right thing by his team. He thought it was going to go dead in goal. A wicked bounce of the football. A lovely well-weighted kick from Reynolds. And against the run of play, South Sydney, they get their opportunity. This is what they've been waiting on. Some quality possession in the Roosters' red zone. Can the Roosters show the same intensity they've shown with the football in defence? Reynolds telling the men around him exactly what he wants. The goal line dropout. What a deep one. Goes to Reynolds. Gives it to George Burgess. New Asala was out searching for him. Kennedy was there as well. Here's Peets. He goes to Crocker. New Asala again. He's a man on a mission at the moment. Crocker, though, is held and plays it quickly with three roosters out of play. Peets to Sutton. Back through the middle. Standing in the tackle. Taken to ground here by Cordner. Now Peets going from dummy half. He's only a couple of metres out, and they've still got two tackles. Sutton double pumps it, gives it to Reynolds. At the back for Inglis. Sam Burgess ran the decoy for him. Inglis in behind him is grabbed by Kennedy, and also Celiawini. They have one more. Goes to Sutton, who grubbers off the boot of Boyd Corner, who got the bounce. What a play by the young back rower. Massive play from Boyd Cordner. 
Hasn't had a rest tonight. Out on his feet. And Kenny Dowell has dropped it. And they're saying backwards. They're going to say knocked backwards. I'd like to see that again. It looked like a, a knock on for your life by Sean Kenny Dow. And I'll say they're due some luck, the Roosters. Well, they've got a massive amount of it right there. And then Pierce's pass again from Dummy Half. He takes a chance when he gets to that position. Kennedy it was who took the carry. Now Orbison comes to corner. Here's Moga tapping it out the back. Running towards Everingham, who makes the tackle. They have one more. And Nasta, sizing things up, taking his time, going to Pierce. He put the kick up before Crocker got to him. Merritt doesn't get to it. It comes to him off Minicello, and the Rabbitohs survive. Wow. It feels like the intensity has picked up. The speed of the game has gotten quicker. When you look at the quality on display, from both teams and it'll come down to one moment one poor choice one poor choice with the ball or one poor choice in defense English standing in the tackle the player 10 on his own side of halfway Taylor and he from dummy half good harassment there from Pierce he gets a shove or Taylor took a chance there at giving away a penalty in possession now George Burgess Looking for a quick play, the ball. Now he shoves Kennedy out of the way. They need to be careful here. Sutton comes to Reynolds. Can he repeat the dose? Minicello, he'll get to it in the field of play this time. He looks up and sees a wall of red and green jumpers. And Isaac Luke on report for a tackle on Kenny down in the first half. And he with a good shot right there. And that was a smart kick by Reynolds. Not panicking, getting the ball to the corner. Here's Leilua. Good run of 10 metres from off their own line. And Nasta has across to Guerra, who runs towards George Burgess. With the help of brother Sam, he'll play it just inside the 30. Here's Muasala taking it forward. The lead is four, and we go inside the final 10. Silly Weenie gets a slow play the ball on the last team, but there's no real line speed from the Rabbitohs at the moment. They've used up plenty of gas. And defending this possession rate of the Roosters, which still stands at 55%. Inglis picked up there in the tackle of Kenny Dow. He was going down head first for a moment. He gets up shaking his head, saying, well, we got one in the first half. What about that one, sir? You can't relax against this Rabideau side. There's Inglis, there's Merritt, there's Dave Taylor. And now Luke, the same Roos. That's the most dangerous of them all. If he gets a chance from close range, the back end of this game. Crocker taking it forward. Catching their breath in behind the play at the moment. Need Reynolds and Sutton to keep their wits about them. Here's Luke trying to link up with George Burgess. Thornton did well to stay with him. They've got one more tackle. They go back towards Sutton this time. He's got enemies outside, but he puts it up in the air. Some pressure here on Ray Lua, who does well to shield the ball with his body. And make the catch and take the tackle of Crocker. Eight minutes remaining. Here's Minicello. It feels as though the Roosters playing for their season. Winning as many victories as they do in the final month plus of this NRL season. Moga playing it just outside the 20. We'll play it here for friend. Dummy half now. Guerra who works it forward. Four plays gone. Kennedy. Certainly to tip it on. Just taking the tackle there of Taylor and also Crocker. Good play the ball. Gives Pierce plenty of time to put a kick in. Inglis. Read it well though. Gets across. Love to bust them on a kick return, but a good chase as he hemmed in just outside his own 20. And it's so important now to control field position. You have to make the team work the ball off their own line. Most important when you give the ball back to the opposition. Seven minutes remaining. Nothing between these two sides. Jason Clark has been injected back into the game at the back end here. The fresh man on the field for the Rabbitohs. Crocker. They look as though at the moment they needed some fresh legs as well. Luke 
out of dummy half. Just the one marker there, but where it chases does very well. Last play again. Clark gets to dummy half. He comes across to Reynolds to put it up. A midfield bomb. Farrell's out here on his own. Flying up. Tapped it, but tapped it forward. Reynolds came down with it. But the call was a quick one. And a correct one against Farrell, who tried to tap it backwards if the ball went forward. Yeah, no doubt about it. It was the right decision from the officials. Dylan Farrell the going point. above the pack, knocking the ball forward. The Roosters once again working it away from their own try line. That's a good 10-metre carry from Martin Kennedy. It looked dangerous when they've attacked him behind the run with their fast men, the Roosters. it up towards the halfway line for the Roosters. The Rabbitohs do to them what the Roosters did to South Sydney. The back end of the game in round one. The first Monday night experience for 2012. It was something, wasn't it? The way it finished. And the Rabbitohs returned the favour. They're odds against at the moment. Here's Leilua giving it to Takarangi, who's out there on the wing. It came to Kenny Dow. He kept it alive. It's play on! Five. I want to go back there to on the first kick to see whether it hits the ground or whether he uh, kicks it. Whether he drops it or kicks it. Well, what a play this will be from the Roosters. Keeping the ball alive. Mitchell Pearce, has he scored the match winner? We are going back to look at everything. There's the kick put in the first one. The Roosters are on side. Well, Leilua in. picks it up, throws it back to Mitchell Pierce, who kicks it. This will be green light. Oh, I don't know. We, we need to check that kick from Takarangi in the first place to see if he makes contact with the ball here. Yes, he does. And he was in the field of play as well. And I think that was the only point that the referee was worried about. The Harlem Globetrotters plays back on the inside from the supporting cast. They were special. Pierce picks it up. Great hands from Mitchell Pierce. He celebrates. He knows it's a try. The ball, when Takaringi drops it, comes off his leg. It doesn't hit the ground. It's not a knock on, as far as I'm concerned. No, it's all good. We'll see the green lights in a mansion from Russell Smith. There it is! Mitchell Pearce. Scores what might be the crucial play in this game, but 20 points to 12. Eight is the difference. That was the difference when the Rabbitohs led back in round one. And there was even less time on the clock when the Roosters pulled off their miracle. This is a big kick coming up from Brayton Astor, who's already kicked one off the back of the lay. Lua try from the sideline to convert. It was great work by the Roosters. Nathan Merritt had dropped back expecting the kick. So the Roosters, they ran the ball. Merritt was then faced with a two-on-one. They got it to the outside. And then the Hail Mary play came into action. Firstly, the kick, then the pass, and Mitchell Pearce pushing up in support. Well, has he grabbed the match winner? What a result this would be against the team who were looking to put themselves back into the top four with a victory here tonight. The Roosters have stood up to be counted when they had to in the second half of this one. Another great kick from Brayton Esther. It's 22 points to 12, just under. Four minutes remaining. Ten the difference. And the Rabbitohs going for the short restart. It's a long, short restart. That's for sure. And as it turns out, it was a pretty easy catch in the end for BJ Leilua. Didn't, didn't really give them a chance out wide the kick 
And as a result, the Roosters can work it away and almost seal the game with a kick off the back end of this set. They're trying to get possession back now for the Rabbitohs. Try and get a Roosters ball carrier in a one-on-one -on -one situation for a strip. Time is against them. Here's Kennedy to play it back in Rabbitohs territory. Comes to Pierce, the hero, the man of the hour. After staying alive on the play and scoring the try, it might be the defining moment of this game. 22-12, they've done well. Take the ball out of play. Now, Nuasala is trying to get amongst the Rabbitohs forwards. We're trying to get back there to form up and stop the clock, which they do now. Just over two and a half minutes remaining. What about the kick from Mitchell Pierce? He knew he had to find touch or, or take the ball out of play. Hold it, boys. Thank you. And he just hooked it back to his Mitchell, left. Join on to him, please. All the way in, Anthony. Two hands on the ball, ball there, boy. The Roosters running the clock down. A good set of six here. We'll see them go on and win this match. If they can defend this set of six. Rabbitohs quite simply have to score and the remaining tackles in this set to be any chance. Luke comes out, links up to Sam Burgess. Here's Dylan Farrell. There is a chance. He gets it across to Weringham. He gets away from Guerra. It couldn't happen again, could it, between these two sides on Monday Night Football. Everingham trying to milk a penalty. We go inside the final two. It goes wide. Sutton, Taylor, here's the chance. McQueen comes back on the inside. Gives it to Merritt. Merritt for the line. Here we go. Here we go. The Rabbitohs and the Roosters doing it again. Merritt scores the try that gives South Sydney a chance. It can't. There is time. Never say die attitude of the Bunnies. They have got players that can score from anywhere. They needed to score. They have scored. What have they got in store for us now? The Roosters going back slowly. The Rabbitohs will get themselves one set of six. And they have to go the length of the field which they've proven they can do in one set inside the final 60 seconds. Well, you'd have it no other way, would you? Between these two teams and time blown off as Braith and Aston milks every possible second that he can get in game number 250 time you're on, boys. Time in his you're NRL on. career. And they have a nervous set of six in defence. Try and stop the Rabbitohs. It goes down to Sutton. He gives it to Taylor, who brings it back and gives it to McQueen. They're away. Merritt's there again. Here he is. Merritt. Merritt links up with Luke. Luke for the line. Keeps it alive. Reynolds. Reynolds. You can take me down. Unbelievable! A kick to come to win it in regulation for this man, Adam Reynolds. Well, what an effort. What an effort from South Sydney. Big Dave Taylor off the kickoff. They were expecting him just to charge into the pack. He went off his right foot passed the ball, they found the space down a short side and now the kick from Reynolds to win the game. Wow. You couldn't believe you could top what we saw in round one. But the Rabbitohs have done it. The circumstances in which it came against the arch enemy 24 
to 22. Two tries in the final two minutes of the game. And they go the length of the field off the restart to win it. Well, let's just confirm that South Sydney are a different team to the teams of the past. They had belief. They didn't give up. They played every play out. And that's what you need to do to win big games. Braithen Astor celebrating his 250th. Three minutes to go. He thought the game was over. What a performance. And the supporters for the Rabbitohs have every right to feel excited because they are heading for finals football. You couldn't believe it could happen again. The Roosters did it to the Rabbitohs. Braithen Astor is absolutely shattered. Let's go down and hear from some of the stars of this game. Boy, Andy Raymond, the post-match will be something tonight. Braithen Astor shattered. Adam Reynolds, take a look around here. This mob is loving it. You had it under control. You just wanted to do to them what they did to you. Uh, we always knew that um, we are in it to the death. Uh, we remember round one and how they uh, plucked out of the hat, so we knew we still could do it. We could score points, and uh, we showed that in the end. A young bloke from Redfern. You grew up hating the Roosters. It's a special one, isn't it? Uh, couldn't have asked for a better finish. Um, the boys really dug deep in the end, and uh, that was a great win by the boys. That's three wins in a row. Why the success? What's changed at South Sydney? Just sticking to our game plan. Um, doing all the one percenters and sticking to our structure. We've got belief in our structure that Madge has put there, and um, I think if we keep continuing, we can improve as a group. Let's go and find a South Sydney player or two. Johnny Sutton is here with us. What about that fella? Oh. Yeah, we didn't play too well tonight. We dropped a lot of ball, but uh, you know the boys never gave up, and we knew we could do it. How much does it mean? A, it's a great win, but B, it's against the Chooks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good, you know. You know, it keeps us up there near the top four, so we've just got to, you know, keep improving every week. Well done, buddy. Cheers. We're going to do half a lap here, but I think we might get a chat with Dave Taylor. Big boy. We're live, so no swearing, but how good is that? Uh, yeah, that's unbelievable. Uh, I, th I think they did it to us at the beginning of the year, so be able to come out and do that to them uh, makes, makes the win so much sweeter. OK, run us through that last play. You had a look up and saw there was a chance. Yeah, I just sort of run as hard as I could and try and uh, get a quick play of the ball. Hope we can work off that. And um, I realised there's no winger out there and we had two players, so uh, the smartest thing to do was pass it. Well done. Thanks, mate. It took a chance of unfolding, didn't it? The pass out the back from Isaac Luke to Adam Reynolds. He could have taken the tackle. There was time for one more to go again, but they wanted to win it right there. And they took their chance with both hands. And they went to the fans who were screaming in disbelief in the grandstands here at Allianz Stadium. Have you ever seen anything like the scenes here tonight? Two tries. When the kick from Mitchell Pearce found touch, there were two and a half minutes on the clock when the Rabbitohs got possession. They scored in the 79th, and they scored length of the field off the kickoff in the 80th. I think it trumps what the Roosters did back in round one. Well, I'm stunned, but I shouldn't be stunned because it's a different team with so many match winners. And the match winners we speak about played a role. Dave Taylor, Nathan Merritt, Adam Reynolds, Isaac Luke. Amazing scenes here at this famous venue. Let's go back downstairs to Andy. He's elated, he's exhausted, and he's crook with the flu, but uh, what a performance. Yes, yeah, a uh, good win for, you know, I can't, I'm lost for words here. Uh, it's an emotional week, I think, especially from round one, we, we put a lot into this game and uh, shows a lot of character to come back and win the way we did, but, uh, you know, I thought the Roosters were great in defeat tonight and 
Uh, it's another two points for us. Uh, we've got a lot of improving to do, but uh, like I said, it's a great win from the team. Three Burgess boys from Northern England, but you've bought into this rivalry. You love it. Yeah, well, well we love it. Yeah, it's uh, you know we live around the area, and, and the fans are always talking about this game. You know, this game means a lot to the fans as well as it does us. And, uh, like I said, it's a great atmosphere tonight and a great stage to play on, and uh, you know, we're grateful for the win. I know you're crook. We'll let you go. Make it a short one. A thousand dollars gift voucher from Harvey Norman. Just like I say, thanks to Harvey Norman. Thank you, Fox, and thanks to all our fans. Thank you. They'll be growing by the thousands by the second at the moment after a win like that these two foundation clubs 104 years of history and there could never have been a finish like that the closest was round one this year two incredible victories one apiece in truly remarkable circumstances between these two proud old clubs in 2012. he hits it he's yes! got it he's got the field goal he's got the